Ah, finally. A film about Amy Winehouse that tells the roots and all, warts and all story of her life with nothing held back. Warts and all. No, no, no. <laughs> G'day, it's Adam here again with another quick instant movie review for you. So tonight I caught the brand new film called Back to Black. This is a biographical drama based on the life of uh, British singer-songwriter Amy Winehouse and her rise to um, stardom that she got to through to her very, very sad death in uh, 2011 um, when she succumbed to alcohol poisoning. Uh, so this kind of tracks that journey for us. Now, this film stars um, Marissa Abella, who stars as Amy Winehouse, uh, as well as Eddie Marsden, who stars as Mitch Winehouse, her father, and uh, Jack O'Connell, who plays uh, Blake. There was lots of excitement around this um, and, and lots of controversy as well, I suppose. Does she look like Amy Winehouse? Does she sound like Amy Winehouse? All the other bits and pieces. So the things that I can let you right now know is that um, as far as I was concerned, Marissa Arabella did an amazing job as Amy Winehouse. She sounds fantastic. I sort of had to think, okay, have they done an overdub here? Are we talking, is this a little bit of Bohemian Rhapsody business going on? What's happening here? But no, she sang all the vocals on this in this movie. And it sounds great. Really, really good. Does she look like Amy Winehouse? Yes, in certain angles she certainly does, but this is a film. We don't want them to look exactly the same. This is an interpretation of uh, a person. All fair, all well, all good. I have no idea what Blake is supposed to look like in real life. I can't remember, but Jack O'Connell's great, and he embodies his character really well, and Eddie Marsden is Eddie Marsden. So that's all you need to know about that. Back in 2015, uh, Alice of Capaldi made an amazing documentary called Amy, which um, went on to win Academy Awards, a whole heap of awards, um, got um, praised by critics, um, got absolutely poo-pooed by the uh, Winehouse estate. Uh, Mitch Winehouse was really angry about the film to the point that he wanted to get it banned, get it re-edited, um, get it changed around. Um, Alice of Capaldi wouldn't have any part in that and believes that he told the true story. Uh, Mitch Winehouse also believed during that that, that, uh, the, um, that the documentary painted Amy in a bad light as well. So what I'd say just based on that, just just a pure chat is that uh, I think that that documentary changed my opinion on Amy Winehouse. I didn't really know much about Amy Winehouse, to be honest with you. All I knew is she was a bit trashy. She had a pretty good voice, one album. Now, it wasn't until I saw that documentary that actually put Amy Winehouse in a good light as far as I was concerned because I found out what a tortured soul she was. Okay, so let's now go forward. So 2018, the rights for um, a film version of Amy's life came available. Um, they've been kicking around for a while. Then they finally got secured. Um, and we have Sam Taylor-Johnson directing this. She is the, um, the partner of Aaron Taylor-Johnson. Yes, him. Um, she directed Nowhere Boy, actually directed him in Nowhere Boy. If you find out a little bit about Sam Taylor-Johnson, Aaron Taylor-Johnson's real life relationship anyway you can google as much as you like later um and uh she's done that and she's done a couple of other films so the screenplay for this was written by um matt greenhog um he did uh, film stars don't die in liverpool um and he's done a heap of television so that is all very interesting because that is exactly what Back to Black feels like. It feels like a really safe television film that you'd see at 12 midday that is not going to offend anyone who's over the age of 65 if they put it on uh, by mistake or if you're watching it in a doctor's surgery or um, anything like that. You know, I think there's one bit of nude bit and that's about it, but that's not really going to hurt anyone. Um, so there's nothing overly graphic. There's nothing that is um, going to need to cover small people's eyes, um, except for the small nudie bit. Um, and even the drug taking in this film, uh, which I feel what was a higher impact in the documentary, even though it wasn't actually seen, 
um, in this film feels a bit like someone has put some um, powder over there and we're just going to acknowledge it but we're not actually going to see what happens with it. Uh, there is no graphic drug taking in this movie. It is all extremely implied. That is exactly what I feel about Back to Black. Everything is implied. Marissa Abella is great as Amy Winehouse. She sounds like Amy Winehouse. There was a lot of controversy around what she, if she looked like Amy Winehouse. As far as I'm concerned, if an actress is going to put a whole heap of work into her performance, and she has, she sounds like Amy Winehouse. As far as I'm concerned, she looks like Amy Winehouse. I don't have posters of her up on my wall. I'm not going through archive footage to see what she looks like. She puts in a really good performance as someone who looks like Amy Winehouse without being a full impersonation. So, well done to you, Marissa Abella. And I do hope that maybe you get some Oscar buzz if, you know, if, if, if there's not much else going on. I, I do think she put in a really good performance. In regards to the rest of the film, it felt so pedestrian. This feels like a safer documentary a safer biopic, I should say, a safer biopic than, um, you know, than Bohemian Rhapsody, you know, and that's saying a lot, isn't it, really? Um, you know, at least something like Rocket Man did something really interesting. This just feels like a very safe pair of hands and, and everyone being very respectful to Amy Winehouse. She comes out of it looking pretty damn good. There's not a lot that really would say, oh, she did it all to herself. I mean, yeah, none of that is going to happen. This is a lot of, oh, what a shame. Oh, she was just, oh, if only, if only someone had been there, if only, there's a lot of that. And, oh, wasn't he a bit mean? And wasn't he a bit, you know, even for Blake, he's not even placed in an overly bad light. There's a bit like, oh, you take drugs, you're very naughty. That's almost what is being said in the script. And the script has some clunkers. Talk about Basil Exposition. There is a lot of that going on. I just, wow. What a shame. So, for me, the performance is great. The direction and the writing is so safe. The writing is actually just to Basil Exposition for my liking, explaining things that we are seeing. I feel like it was everything was very safe. Everything was very neat and had a lovely little bow put on it. And there was no heart to this. There was respect very much for Amy Winehouse, but there was no heart, which is such a shame because um, we do have a very good portrayal of Amy Winehouse. Good voice, good portrayal, but we're missing some stuff here. This was very safe. So, back to black, I'd probably give a six out of 10. <sighs> there it is. All right, so back to black, have you seen it? If you have, please comment below or let me know what is your favorite music biopic? Is it Rocket Man? Is it? Bohemian Rhapsody. Did you love? Did you like Under the Sea, which is controversial? Uh, the the Bobby Darren documentary with Kevin Spacey. It feels like all of his films have been burnt now, but that was a really great biopic. Maybe Walk the Line is your choice. I love that film um, with jo Joaquin Phoenix. Comment below, let me know. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time in my car.